Thanks to Brittany and Pat for the, uh, the aprons. They're so cool. We don't wear them in every video, but today I'm working with meat, so I don't want meat all over my pretty Wolverine shirt. Catchy. How you doing? Doug here at Kathy. I'm Cam at another episode of Carb Smashers. Today we're doing, as you probably see up there, some meal prep. So one of the things that can throw you off a good keto diet or a low carb diet is not having meals planned or ready to go. So this is a big help. This is our meat, pork rind meatloaf mix. We made a loaf of it in another video, but right now I just want to show you how we're doing it as a meal prep. We have some pounds of it set aside and you can use it for however you want. So that's what this video is gonna be, just on the, the mixing of the meat. We got three pounds of meat. Uh, we got two pounds of beef and a pound of pork. Watch your ground pork, because some will have carbs. This one was no carbs, it was a Kroger brand sage. Half a cup of onion, that has 6.2 net carbs. We got two eggs, 1.6 each. We'll have 3.2 net carbs. Uh, this parm has no net carb. Uh, some of them might. And then we're coming down to the Rotel. Now, we were using sweet ketchup. We were switched out to the Rotel. We like it a little better. I would use the hot normally. It's got a little less carb than this one. This one, not much, though, when you divide it by the batch. This has six net, garb, net carbs in a can. The original, I think it has seven. Okay, so two cups pork rinds. Uh, the brand we had had zero net carbs. You might want to watch those. Now, when we, you want to make sure these are chopped pretty fine. I had one batch where I got lazy and I pounded them out with a mallet, but I didn't get them small enough. So some of the bites got a little chewy because uh, bigger hunks don't work well, I guess. And I did find it calls for two cups. And uh, this five ounce bag made right at two cups. And you see there's no net carbs in it. Uh, to chop them today, instead of hitting my hammer and making a bunch of noise, I actually used my old food processor here on the the blade that you would use for like shredding cheese. And it, it did a real nice job on these pork rinds. They're just fluffy and small pieces of just what you want. The only other thing you're going to put in is your seasonings, which we have all measured out right here. Half a teaspoon each of parsley flakes, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. And that's everything that goes into it. The whole three and a half pounds of meat and all this stuff is going to come out to 17.68 net carbs in the whole batch. So it's going to be a lot of meatloaf. You can make a whole meatloaf or uh, you can uh, make meatballs out of it, whatever you want. We're just going to show you how we mix it up. We're going to use today, we're going to use our KitchenAid mixer. We're going to do it all in this bowl. I'm going to go fast. We're going to mix it up and I'll be right back. So we got that all mixed up. It looks like this, and you got a lot of meatloaf here. So uh, divide it out. You'll have quite a few servings, and uh, that's how you do your meatloaf prep. Let's see what it looks like, okay? It's pretty well. I don't know if you noticed during the fast action video, the time lapse, that uh, I put everything in except the uh, pork rinds, and I added those a little at a time. I just was... A little leery of them getting clumped up in one area. I want to make sure everything gets mixed well. This whole meatloaf here has about 17 and a half to 18 net carbs. So you wanted to meal prep this. You could make a bunch of little meatballs. You know, you do like that. You do half of it with meatballs, whatever. You divide it out. And however many servings you're going to do, you could do a meatloaf roll up. You got a lot of choices with this, but it's going to give you a lot of options. Uh, meatloaf sandwiches begin to be like uh, Bubba Gump's, or no, uh, Forrest Gump's buddy Bubba the shrimp sandwiches. You can make meatloaf sandwiches, meatloaf this, but uh, 
like that. There's some little meat balls coming out of it, and uh, it's meatloaf prep. If you want to do a whole loaf, you can do it. You make some uh, sweet ketchup. You can make some pretty good sweet ketchup. I think we did that in our other meatloaf video. So here's a little meal prep for you. Hey, thanks for watching Carb Smashers. If you could uh, like, subscribe. Ooh, I always do this back. There we go. You could uh, like, subscribe, and uh, as always, enjoy the little things. And that music again. She's playing me on. Hey, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.